What's up guys, Lojo Fishing here and today is vlog number two. And in this vlog we are going to discuss a topic that a lot of you guys have been asking for and I really am interested to share with you. And that is my little fishing workstation here. Um, this, I hope this isn't going to be a really long video. I want to go through the details but I don't want to, get, I don't want to bore you guys to death. I just, a lot of people have asked me about it, like where I got it from, or if I built it, all this stuff. So I'm going to grab the camera and I'm going to kind of take you through one step by step my little workstation. the bench as a whole. Um, I did build it. My wife and I actually built it from from nothing. We had found plans online to make you know make your own fishing bench. Now we added some aspects to it. The original designs only made for a table bench type thing. We added this little top piece to it, um, added some features that I wanted. Obviously why wouldn't you do that? It's going to be yours so make it how you want it to be. But we built it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to try to explain how we built it step by step because I'm, I'm not a construction guy. You know, I just, I just follow the instructions. But what I will do is leave a link to that workbench station, build your own workbench station, and I will put it in the description of this video. So if you want to go check that out, how to make it, that's what we did and that's how we made it. So as you can see, guys, we've got really every kind of bait you could ever imagine in here. We've got, here we got our jigs, swim jigs, chatter baits, some spinner baits, we've got some topwater poppers, some buzz baits, there's my duck lure, my rat, some swim baits back there. We've got a whole bunch of spooks, and we've got our whopper plopper section with double ploppers and whopper ploppers. We've got all the kind of line that I like to use. And I've got everything. I've got mono, I've got braid, I've got fluoro. Everything's got its own purpose. This is normally where I keep a lot of my soft plastics. Um, whenever I buy it, I normally hang it up on one of my, the hooks that I have back here until I put it into boxes. Um, and I'll show you the boxes in a little while. Got some extra reels over here. Got some random, you know, some dies. I'm sure you guys have seen the Bass Dynasty since. I use those from time to time. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh yeah, I got my little box. I got a frog box down here. I mean, I've got some frogs in there. Let me tell you, man. They've all, as you can see, they've been used. Um, got bobbers. Got terminal tackle for you know fishing with live bait. This is just a bunch of soft plastic stuff that was left over from my tournament last month that I'll probably reuse. But. Um, down beneath, I've got some extra storage. This is a, an additional shelf that my wife and I built. That little bottom shelf right there, we added that on. So I've got some extra tackle boxes. I've got the little cart for my uh, kayak. Got a minnow bucket, my little, I use this little basket right here when I'm in my kayak, which brings me right over here to all my kayak stuff. There's my seat, my paddle, all my little rod holders, battery, GPS, all that good stuff. Got my little hanger up doodle right here. <laughs> Got hats, life jacket, um, bag, scale, um, GoPro equipment. That's my tournament bag right there. Um, I can fit four tackle boxes and everything I need in here. It is just one of the coolest things. It's even got like a little LED lighting system. It's pretty, pretty legit. My friend got that for me as a birthday um, or a Christmas present. And uh, it is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Then if we move over here, I've got all my rods and reels. Um, yes, I've got a lot. Some might say too many. I would agree with them. <laughs> I've got way too many. Some of them I'm not using, you know. Um, some of these ones in the back over there. Not really using those right now or they're broken. Um... But, you know, it's nice to have a lot of rods and reels, especially if you do tournaments. You know, you need at least five. Um, but, uh, okay. So now I'm going to get into showing you what's in these boxes, because this is how I keep a lot of my tackle 
organize that I use every day. So let's kind of go through those now. All right, so I got my boxes laid out here. Let's just start with my first box. And guys, this is just, uh, I like keeping some of my soft plastic baits. And I like keeping some of my terminal tackle already boxed up. Um, th this is basically my tournament setup right here. Like I can fit four of these boxes in that bag that I showed you. So let's just kind of go through them real quick. So this is a swim bait box. As you can tell, we've got a lot of um, small swim baits that I use as like trailers for spinner baits and crank, or not crank baits, um, chatter baits and stuff like that. Then you move up to like the medium sized swim baits that you may want to use as a big trailer or a standalone swim bait. Then you've got some of the big ones that I really like to use, uh, like the Gambler Lures Big Easy that I made a video about. Those are really cool. Uh, these big swim baits pretty much caught me my, my two biggest fish in the tournament that I fished in Lake Okeechobee. So I got a lot of love for the swim baits. So that's my swim bait box. Now let's move over here. This is kind of a creature bait slash flipping bait type box. We've got a lot of craws over here. We've got beavers, which are really excellent flipping baits. You can see right here, beavers, black and blue, green. We've got some more craws over here. Lizards. Lizards are a big bait this time of year in the uh, pre and uh, post spawn. Those are very good ones. Then we've got kind of a large brush hog right here type deal. We've got some toads. I like to use those in all different kind of ways. I can fish them by themselves or use them as a trailer on a buzz bait or something. That's just kind of an all purpose box. And then in here I'll have some, some hard baits. Like I'll probably put a couple spooks in there. I might put a whopper plop or maybe even a buzz bait for the next tournament that I do. Then we got the worm box. Guys, everybody should have a worm box. Okay. This, I mean, I use it for tournaments because I throw worms too, but this is just a great box to have. If you've got a pond, you need to have a worm box. I've got Senkos with different kind of color schemes. And then I've got some, you know, some smaller trick, trick style worms for drop shotting. And then I've got a ton of ribbon tail worms that are just different colors and different sizes. But, you know, there's basically every worm you could think of in this box. So that is a must, a worm box. All right, let's move on to the crankbait box. Um, guys, if you've followed me for any amount of time, you know that crankbaits are really not my specialty. Uh, I try to use them as much as I can to try to learn, but I just, I just never really liked using them. I mean, it's probably because the stuff that I fish most, most of the time has a lot of junk in the water or vegetation. And these exposed treble hooks just, I mean, they're just tough. They're tough to fish in that kind of situation. But I'm trying it more and more. I do have a crankbait box, so I am trying them. And last but not least, the terminal tackle box. This is the box. I would be lost without this box. Okay, as you can see, I've got every kind of hook you could think of. I've got flipping hooks, extra wide gap, I've got straight shank worm hooks, you know, I've got trailer hooks right here, tiny hooks, drop shotting hooks, weights, different kind of sinking weights and bullet weights. Got some real heavy tungsten weights in here for flipping. Um, swim bait hooks, you know, this is just your terminal ta tackle box, and you got to have one of these. Um, this thing is awesome, keeps me really organized. I keep most of my terminal tackle in here at all times, and like I said, for tournaments, it's just, it's, it's a must-have. Now, some of the mis miscellaneous uh, parts of the bench, you know, I'm sure you can see all the stickers. Um, no, I'm not sponsored by anybody. Um, I just collect these stickers. I just think they look cool. They make the bench look cool. You know, <clears throat> they make the bench look a little bit more validated, <laughs> I guess you could say. As you can see, I am a Florida boy. I do have a lot of Florida stuff. Um, I'm a Florida Gator fan. Um, that's just, I was born and raised in the state of Florida. I find myself in Alabama right now, but that's okay, because this is where my wife lives, and I love my wife. But, um... I'm probably going to do a rod and reel combo arsenal video one of these days because I'm sure I really need to sort through these anyways and just kind of pick out the ones that I use and don't use. But that pretty much wraps the bench up, guys. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about this workbench and like details about it or anything like that, I'd love to answer any of those questions. If you. 
plane going by. Give me a second. If you have any questions about any of the baits that I like to use, how I like to organize my baits, feel free to ask. And also, lastly, let me, got, let, let me know if you guys want to see a rod reel arsenal video. That way I can kind of take more time and go through how many rods I have, what I use them for, what application I use them for, like what kind of line, what kind of reel I'm running, what kind of bait that I fish on it. Let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in in a future vlog video. But other than that, had a great time. This is my pride and joy, guys. This, I spent a lot of time out here because I just, it's just, I love it, you know. You feel very accomplished when you can build something like this rather than buy it. Something like this would probably cost $500 to buy. And we built it for probably a hundred bucks worth of materials. So very rewarding. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I love you. Uh, the next the next fishing video is going to be I think maybe buzz bait fishing in the rain. Or maybe fishing with shiners in a kayak. I don't know. It's gonna be one of those two, so stay tuned, subscribe, like, catch you guys later.